I didn't make that. I didn't even type that. I, I copied and pasted that from the web page. You, you, you can paste into the terminal. Edit, paste, and you press enter, and then it'll install it. And then the next thing I did was some other step to get this thing incorporated into <laughs> apt-get. Okay, then I, and then uh, so if I go down. Now I didn't even do an apt-get update, but I should have. And uh, <laughs> You, at the next step, I think you're supposed to do apt dash get update, and then a bunch of stuff, you know, a bunch of <laughs> progress bars and stuff. Basically, they update your sources, your actual sources list, the apps that are available to install based on these different ser servers that are hosting apps. Uh, they, they'll each download a list of the apps they have available on those servers based on what package subset you pick again you know remember this uh, multiverse or uh, restricted universe or, or, or <laughs> crossover you know whatever, whatever they decide to call it and, and then you get if I got this right no I don't think I have that right there, there's another location I think it's in bare cache I'm not going to go in there but basically it has a list of all the applications that could be installed and there's probably another list of all the applications that are installed Okay, so uh, then we, then to get this program installed, it's apt get install guvc view. I even copied that from his web page. He's only got a little bit of instructions here, and that's fine. That works perfectly. Now I got the app installed. Now you go into here, go into multimedia, and you open that. Now, uh, if your device isn't plugged in like mine, you won't uh, get anything, but I'll show you over here after I hide <laughs> the video output because I don't exactly want to get uh we going on here so i'll go okay here we are uh this is the the program and the way it works it seems to just get the resolution correct out of the just right after you open it up so you, you, I, went multi I didn't want to hiccup multimedia and then i went to uh gtk uvc and i hope i'm getting the whole screen here because i can tell and then um See, there's something called image controls. I didn't mess with that. I didn't do anything with that. I went to video, and I made, and this was already picked, the UVC camera. I don't know what that means, but I guess if I wanted to take a snapshot, capture image, it would come out as image.jpg in a JPG format. You can pick that. And then if you want to capture video, I, it, instead of saying stop video, it says start. Now the trick to this still is, is it's a little bit of flux, but they were smart about this. It's different than VLC. In VLC, I have to happen to know that HW colon one, uh, one comma zero is what I got to put in that little box for the audio device to get it to work. And I was I was <laughs> working on that for hours, and then VLC output is, isn't as nice of a quality as this. Uh, this you you it, by default it didn't go to the USB device, but I just selected it. And then I was ready to go, and then and then I clicked on this, and, and then it started making a file called uh, Capture AVI. It's grayed out right now, but uh, when this is not running, of course, uh, you can change the name of it. Uh, then when you're done, you uh, click on that stop, and, and that's it, and it works very nicely. So, uh, I'll bring that back up. Now I'm back over here. Now, uh, I covered that. Maybe I should uh, stop in case someone doesn't want to see the rest of it. This is like the follow-up to, to getting things to run nicely. Um, so I'll stop here and then my next subject is going to be getting my uh, bootloader fixed the way I like it. Uh, and going over Grub2 and all my... Uh, <laughs> you'll get a good dose of my um, complaints uh, and criticisms of Grub2 and how to get Grub1 working, at least in my situation. And what I do to get all these things under one uh, one banner, and then I might even since I have this camera connected to another computer, I might even turn this computer off and pop in a second hard disk because I, I I really do want to have FreeBSD and uh, NetBSD as little as I can do with it on this computer too. And since I can't just pop that in uh, to a, the available logical partitions right now that are empty. Um, I'm gonna uh, end up uh, just putting another hard drive in there, and and then I'll have to update the bootloader for that. But those are fairly simple entries, so I'll stop now. Uh, re I'm gonna rename this file because if it by default it's capture.avi, and um, 
I don't want to overwrite what I've done. Okay, I'm going to stop now.